Brown with Flint Hill Catfishing, and we're way down the Catawba in another location today. And I don't know how to introduce him, y'all know who that is. So hopefully I'll get to catch a fish today since I'm fishing with him, but we'll see. Hang in there, see if we put some fish in the boat. Well, the water's got a little bit of color to it, you can tell. Which don't hurt my feelings none down on the river. Means they're running some water up there, probably. Anyway, hopefully there's a little bit of current drawing through here somewhere. All right, y'all. These are some dollar sized uh, gizzard shad today. Start off. We can catch some perch or something. That'd be good, but we'll see what happens. There he is. Look at there, folks. Dean got skunk out of the boat. It's a good fish. Now y'all watch this. Dean ain't no Dean ain't no IPA man. But look, watch this here now. Oh, what we got? See that face, Dean. <laughs> Damn, that's good. <laughs> Woo! What? Uh oh, Dean's hooked up. What you call that? He's long. Oh. What do you call that? That's a limb brim. Right on. All right, so what we done? We caught, you know, six or seven fish now. We only moved twice, or I moved once. We dropped in that first hole up near the rapids and then came down a little further. Dropped in here and it's just below. I don't know if you can see that rock right out there, but there's a rock out there and that's a uh, that's a ledge and the water kind of piles up in front of that and slows down a little bit before it dumps over that ledge into a shallow flat. So it's it's a good place to uh, to move to a second spot to fish. So we tried it out. We got about three fish so far at this spot and uh, nothing big to speak of yet, but there's fish and. Uh, we're gonna see what happens. We ought to take another move here in 10, 15 minutes if we don't get something probably, so hang in there. He won't have a net, was he? <laughs> Look at that fish. Uh-huh, he about to wear out now. He scooped, he scooped it at me. Just moved, didn't have many fish where we were at, and we moved and got a long, slender black blue there. That's good stuff. Feisty. Yeah, Just nice, nice big. Solid black boy. Nice boy, look at that. Oh yeah. He been eating a little bit. He ain't super fat, but that's a healthy fish. There he is, just, just hung up. He's a throwback. He's a throwback, huh? Throwback. All right, then. He's not a big fish. He's about as big as your first one, I reckon. I'm out away from the boat a little bit. I'll let him drift right back in it. You ready? All right, pull one up high, there we go. All right. <clears throat> Twisted up, got his eye caught in it. Be still now. Uh -huh. hey. Get a look at him. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, he's about 10. That's right, come here, I got you. Oh, yeah. Yes sir. Then you got some. There you go. What do you think, Dina? Yeah, 
That's an eatable one. Eatable catfish, y'all. Settle down now. Feels like a catfish. Yep. Little blue again, look at that. <laughs> look at a little channel cat. Well, the spines on that thing are evil. Actually, it's not a channel, a little blue. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, we're back out cooler full, ain't we? <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to put them. We'll be all right. We'll be all right. Let's keep going. We'll see what happens. Stay in there. You ready, bro? All right. All right, y'all definitely got a fish on here. He took off screaming. I ain't even got time to get the camera on. Let me get up here where I can stand up, y'all. Oh, it feels like a catfish. He'd have been at the top by now if it was a gar, I reckon, don't you? I don't know, he was screaming though. Maybe. Oh yeah, hit that little sucker took off a screaming now. No bigger than that, he took off screaming. He a little bit too small to clean, ain't he? Yeah, we got we got in there. Definitely. I think he's light enough I can do the thing. Look at that. Look, I want y'all to see this. That fish is getting rid of muscles. Those of y'all don't know, blue cats, they'll eat them whole. That just shows you they'll eat them things right there. All right, let's let this boy go, y'all. Back in the drink. Man, I tell you what, when he took off, he's gone, wasn't he? Another fish on. Let's see what this one's like here. Hard to tell how big they are when they're in that current. I think it's a small one, though. Can't never tell in the current. Let him get some of that energy out, though. Good fish. See if I can get him over to you. I got tension off the line. You can go ahead and take it in. Hot don't he wound up in it. That's good fish, man. Yeah, I'm right. That's a healthy fish. Good deal. See if you can get me releasing him there, Dean. All right. Well folks, that's a day. We're gonna call it. I didn't get a whole lot of video footage on this one because I was honestly snatching quite a few fish in and I don't have uh I don't have things set up on this boat with Dean for video quite as well, but we done good. We had a good day and uh, we got a few eaters taken home as well. 
So anyway, thanks for joining. This is Brian with Flint Hill Catfishing. Good buddy Dean Lawson, the cap. We're heading on out of here. Thanks for joining us. Catch you on the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Peace.